Time in YouTube and welcome back to No EXs, where today we are going to be featuring the Pillow Swine from Breakthrough. Yes, Pillow Swine, not Mammo Swine. Uh, we are going to be focusing around the Gathering Footsteps attack, which for one fighting energy and two colorless energy, uh, we're going to be doing 30, plus this attack does 10 more damage for each colorless energy in the retreat cost of your Swine Ups, Pillow Swines, and Mammo Swines. Um, this can get a little bit high when you include the Mammoth Swines onto your bench for 4 retreat, so there's 40 damage there. Uh, with each Swine Up, you're adding an additional 1, and with Pillow Swines themselves, you're potentially getting another 20 damage. So on average, you're at least going to be doing 50 damage just off the attack. Now that does seem a little low for 3 energy cost, but when you add in stuff like Strong Energy, that's going to give your fighting Pokemon 20 more uh, base power, you add in Fighting Stadium when you're fighting those EXs, and you start adding in those Muscle Bands, you're starting to add quite a bit of damage. There's a lot of support for fighting type Pokemon these days, especially after the Furious Fist uh, set released a couple sets back. Um, we're going to be running two Haluchas for support, that one base energy flying press for 60 against EXs, it comes in clutch sometimes when you have like you need a turn of setup or you just need that extra bit of damage. Again, with that flying press with a muscle band, fighting stadium, and strong energy, you're doing another 120 for one energy. It's it's actually quite crazy. Um, we are going to be running a 2-2 line of Remoraid and Octillery for the Abyssal Hand. Uh, once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have five cards in hand. Now, because this is a no EX deck, obviously we're not running Shaman. If you want to run Shaman EX over the Remoraids, I would highly suggest it, maybe two of them. And then you can probably run two other trainer support of your liking. Um, for our trainers, we're going to be running two Rare Candy, one Switch, three Trainer Mail, three Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker. I believe it's just two Bridget. Nope, I apologize, three Bridget, two Karina. One Lysander, two Birch, two Sycamore, two Wally, three Fighting Stadium, four Muscle Band, four Strong Energy, um, four DCE, and I think it's two Strong, yeah, two Fighting Energy. Um, so let's just see <clears throat> just how much damage we can do with the Pillow Swines on Pokemon TCG online. And our first game is going to be against Snowzino. He's playing a Grass, Dark, and Colorless deck. We get the coin flip. We're going to call our Tails. And we win! That's a good start. Maybe this is going to look up for, uh, for us today. Uh, we are going to take first turn. We definitely need that first turn set up. We are kind of slow. Um, and our basic of choice is going to be... Our opponent doesn't have anything, which is good for us. We get an additional card. Uh, we're only going to be able to lead Sno uh, Swinub. He's going to play up his. We play Swinub. Are we going to see any benched? Yes, we do. One benched. Prizes get thrown. Yes, I want that extra card. And it's a Bridget, which actually will come in here. Oh, jeez. That first turn flip into a Sceptile just means the end of the game for us. Um... Well, I'm not going to just give up turn one. So, I'm going to Trainer's Mail. All I'm going to get is a VS Seeker. That wasn't necessary. Um, it's 10 damage, so it'd be 20. Flip a coin if heads asleep and paralyzed. Um, I am going to... Should I Bridget this turn? Bridget, 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 Bridget. Yeah, Bridget. I'm sorry for the stall, but I, I desperately needed to think out what I wanted to do. Um, grab a Remoraid, Swinub and Swinub. At least next turn I can start getting the Octillery speed off for the hand draw. Um, I do have extras here just in case. I'm going to set up... Should I set up one on the bench or should I set up the actual acting? I'm going to set up the Swinub down here because I fear my first one up is definitely going to go before I'm actually set up. And 
I'm going to save the Ultra Ball for next turn. Maybe I'll draw one. And we're going to see what he does. Now, he does have Malamari X on the bench. He's going to take a few seconds, which is fair. I took quite a while. He's going to play a double colorless energy on the Malamar, and he's going to put me to sleep. He's going to have a Sceptile Spirit Link. We're going to grab an Ultra Ball. What did he sack? He sacked... He grabs a Shaman. So he actually got rid of a Mega Sceptile for this. So whatever else was in his hand was definitely more prominent. Um, Shaman EX gets his hand back up to six cards. That's the power of Shaman. We we haven't really seen it much on this channel. Um, but it definitely is a very fast card. Um, we got another Birch. So I'm going to... I'm going to set up my Octillery. No point in uh, wasting that card. I'm going to Ultra Ball away one Birch and the VS Seeker. And I'm going to grab my Pillow Swine. I'm evolving the one on the bench. Again, I'm not trying to rush out of the Swinna, but I'm, I'm going to have to try and take care of the Sceptile early game. Um, I definitely want to see if I can get a DCE. I don't want to waste that fighting energy just yet. We get the head, so I do get seven cards. We're going to go Muscle Band. I'm going to save the fighting stadium for when I actually can attack. I do get a DCE. And I think I'm going to end the turn. Next turn, what I'll do is I'll... If he hasn't knocked me out yet, I will switch Swinub out. Enhanced Hammer. Oh no. The DC is gone. These special energy removal cards are starting to get to me here. Um, energy drop onto the Sceptile. So he's going to Sleep Poison us. So 20 damage. He's going to flip Tails. So no, no additional effects happen. Um... I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a uh, fighting energy onto the pillow swine, and I think I'm going to grab a rare candy and a mammo swine. And what this does is it gives me the opportunity to set up my other swineb, the one on the bench. Come on, there we go. And uh, start get when I do get Pillow Swine out, I'll be able to. Whoops, I'm sorry, that's out of order. Um, it'll give us the opportunity to set up that Gathering Footsteps for a massive amount of damage, especially because we do have Fighting Stadium in hand. I am going to attach the Muscle Band to this Mammo Swine, and I still don't see the relevance of playing Fighting Stadium. I will use Abyssal Hand though to get my two additional cards, which is another Remoraid, which I will play up because if I can get Abyssal Hand twice in a game, I will I'll gladly take it. Um, but again, I'm gonna end this turn, and we're gonna see what our opponent's about to do. Um, if he adds another Energy Drop to the Sceptile, Swindub's definitely going down. Yep, there's the energy drop. So this Swindub is definitely dropping this turn. Uh, he's playing another Sceptile, another Malamar. We are definitely at a disadvantage with all these EXs. Though if we do get some knockouts, we can easily maintain prize count. He gets a Trick Coin, which is going on to the Malamar. A Trick Coin going on the other Malamar. Sceptile Spirit, Sceptile Spirit Link going on the second Sceptile. And we're seeing Unseen Claw. That's going to end our end our lovely uh, Swinub. My immediate reaction would be to go into Pile of Swine. And the reason for that is 20, 40, 80, 100, 130. I almost would need... I need some way of getting another 20 damage so that would be a 
I don't know how I'd get that. Actually, I shouldn't have brought him up there. Now that I'm thinking of it. I will play the Fighting Stadium this turn. I'm going to via Seeker into Birch. Because Birch at least will give me the opportunity to get a higher chance to get an energy drop. Which is more what I need. I do get 7 cards. I do get the Swen up. Which is what I need. There's 10 more damage. Um, I didn't get the energy drop I wanted. Anything from Trainer Mail? Uh, via Seeker, Lysander, Lysander. Um, I'm going to go for it because I need to get damage off on this thing. Um, and I'm going to play the Muscle Band on the Swinna because I am going to need to start setting it up very shortly. We're going to do 160. Not enough to knock this thing out. Close, but not enough. And he is going to gain another prize over us. Because with Unseen Claw, he's going to guarantee at least 120 damage, which Pillow Swine cannot handle. So, unfortunately for us, we're going to take a massive setback. Uh, he's going to play a Professor's Letter for two energies, Grass and Darkness. We're going to see a Dark Energy drop onto Malamar. I don't know why he's deciding to put me asleep. He can instantly KO me. And he is giving us the Hex Maniac. So my Abyssal Hand does not work, and neither does Mammoth Swine's Thick Fat. Um, Turn-wise, I think it would be ideal to set up the Remoraid. Give us a chance to kind of catch up. There's another Mammo Swine, which is a little late. A little late. Um, I'm going to drop the Karina. Get a... a th Our first win is dead. Grab a Halucha. Get it on the bench. There's... Um, do I have... No, I don't have them. Um, I'm at a very tight position here. Unfortunately, I'm going to try maybe the trainer's mail. Because there's not a whole lot of stuff I actually need. I need energy, which I don't have. And I think that might be the game here. I'm probably just going to call it because, unfortunately... With a grass weakness in front of us, and us being completely weak to it except for the Halucha, I don't see us getting much of a chance to gain initiative here, especially with those high energy costs. That first DCE drop getting tossed away really cost us our early game. And at the moment, he can easily one-shot everything I have, except excluding the Mammoth Swine. But I can't power up Mammoth Swine in time to, to claim this prize. Because, easily enough, he's going to one drop onto the Sceptile now, and he's just in the same spot, but one less, er, 160 damage less on it. So, good game to my opponent. It just shows the power of what an EX deck can do versus a non-EX deck. Um, I will be back with another game, and we will see if the, the Mammoth Swines can actually come up with a victory. So, one moment, folks. Game number two is going to be against PV2014. We're getting the coin flip again. I'm going to call Tails. We lose this time. That's all right. He's going to decide if he wants to go first or second. He's going to go first. And we are going to see a Remoraders are basic. Oh, no. This is not looking good. He's playing a Swarlex as his lead, so I don't think he's in the best of positions either. Um, and it seems like he had no other basics as well. We're going to see an Ultra Ball come off. What is he discarding? He is discarding a VS Seeker and a Dodrio. And what are we going to see as his Pokemon of choice? Is it going to be that Swirlix? No, it's going to be a Xerneas, which is a definitely a good call for him. He's most likely going to play said Xerneas, which he just did. And 
we're gonna see roller skates come out is he gonna get that heads no he's not so no three cards for him this turn we're gonna see an energy drop onto the swirlix lucky for us the there's not a whole lot he can do right now can't attack turn one and it's only 10 damage anyway oh he retreats so we're gonna see a bit of a stall at the moment he has a professor's letter so it was actually a very good move he's got two energy drops coming up he's not gonna be too far behind because geomancy is gonna help that swirlix get back into the game but we do know that out of three cards in his hand currently two of them are energy um, we draw a Mammoth Swine, which does not help us. The Fighting Stadium is not going to help us too much. Um, I think the best idea here is to just grab a Bridget. Get ourselves a couple Swinibs, maybe... No, just three Swinibs will do it. At least this way I can start setting up the Mammoth Swine line. Um, I will set up our main attacking Swinib, which will be this one. So he'll go into Pillow Swine. Um... And unfortunately, I have nothing I can do. I did not draft any energies. Draft. I didn't grab any energies. Um, he's going to put an energy drop onto the Xerneas. And most likely, he is going to Geomancy. From the looks of it, we're going to see one energy drop onto the Swirlix. And there it is. So we grab another muscle band. I'm in a very bad position right now. Where I can get a Mammo turn two with the Wally, or I can start getting a hand with the Sycamore. And to be honest, I'll, I'll play the muscle band onto this guy, but to be honest, with the Mammo Swan not going to be able to get too much off right now, the energies are looking a little bit more interesting. So Sycamore, come on out. We do grab a rare candy. Oh, we grab two rare candies now. Unfortunate for us. Uh, we do see a DCE. So we're going to play that onto the Pillow Swine. We're going to grab another Muscle Band and attach it to Swinub. I really don't hope he doesn't have Megaphone right now. Um, we'll hold off on the VS Seeker till next turn. And unfortunately, we have to stall another turn. At least next turn we can uh, at least set up the Pillow Swine for Gathering Footsteps. Um, it's not going to be doing too much yet. It's going to be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 90 damage. So we're still not even taking out the Xerneas. We're going to see a Great Ball. We're going to see Slurp Pup with Sweet Veal. So he's definitely the one to keep those status conditions out of the way and thankfully for us we're not producing too many we're kind of just raw damage go 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 we're seeing another professor's letter and a doduo uh, two fairy energies in hand are we seeing the energy drop onto the Xerneas yes we are this is where a mammoth swine drop would be excellent for us He's going to Geomancy, Dodo is going to get an energy, and so will the Slurpuff. And there they are. We're going to see a Mammo Swine, which is actually quite surprising. We're going to Rare Candy up to him. Mammo Swine's going to evolve. Or, yeah. Um, I'm going to drop the energy onto the Pillow Swine. And I'm going to VS Seeker and get the Sycamore. We're going to simply use Sycamore. We're going to see an Octillery come in. Oh no, we got a Mammo Swine now. Um, Octillery. And I might have to sack a DCE drop to get Octillery out of the active next turn. But we might be, we have, next turn we should be able to take out the Xerneas. But I am not evolving that, that the first Pillow Swine yet. If I can get another Pillow Swine and start setting up the Swine Up, 
that might be best case scenario. He might knock out the artillery right now, though. Yep, there goes our artillery. He's going to take the first prize of the game. But we should be able to come in here with Pillow Swine now and knock out the Xerneas. We're going to see a VS Seeker. And I'm going to just double check my math. So it's 30. 50 with the muscle band. Uh, 70. 80. It's going to be 120. So I'm going to attach another strong energy to the pillow swine. Um, what's in the discard? We're seeing Sycamore and Bridget as our only two. Oh, we have Wally as well. So I guess what we could do is Wally out the pillow swine. So this way, next turn, we can get a second Mammoth Swine onto the bench and start knocking out some things pretty heavily. This will also get us potentially another s attacker, maybe. Um, we do have the other Mammoth Swine sitting here, though, so... Oh! No, I do not want to evolve this one. I just simply want to go for the additional damage. There we are. Damage increased, 150. There goes our Xerneas foe. And we're going to grab a Lysander. So now whatever he wants, we're going to take it away from him. He has Draining Kiss, which is going to do a massive 30 damage to us. We might want to take it out before whatever he may drop. No, he just is going to give us the victory. Unfortunately, his deck didn't seem to be working the way he was hoping for. And uh, we're going to try one more game. Just because I want to see if this deck can actually show off its true slide. Um... You didn't really get to see it in either of the two games so far played. So let's get one more game. It might be a longer episode. However, I'd like to show off this deck a little bit more. And our third game of the day is going to be against Ares OT. He's playing an all sortsman of a deck. We get the coin flip again, and we lose it again. So two out of three times we lose it. Uh, okay, I can, I can deal. Um, he's going to decide if he wants to go first or second. Um, he's going to take first. We're going to see the only basic we have is Halucha. I'm kind of hoping to see some EXs, and we're not. We're going to see a Shuppet. This is going to be interesting. Um, we're going to see a Wally turn once. We're going to see a Banette. And this guy has, um... Evolution Jammer. Ooh, this is going to hurt. This is not going to be a nice game. Um. Um. <laughs> um. I'm in a bad position and I haven't even, I haven't even started yet. Um. We're going to go for the Ultra Ball. I'm going to sack the Switch because Halucha can switch out. Um. I think I'm going to sack the Sycamore. At least I can get it back via VS Seeker if I need it. Um, Swinub. Need to start getting this line going. Um, energy drop onto the Swinub. We're going to Birch. And we're going to get Tails. Usual luck. Muscle Band here. And I am simply going to switch out. Actually, sorry, I'm going to end my turn, but I should have gone for Powder Snow. That was a misplay. I apologize for that. I, it was a big misplay. That could cost us the game right now. Because the only way we can evolve now is through Wally, -E, and it's not likely going to happen. He's going to curse deeply, most likely. So 50 damage, 50 damage. So we're all right so far. Unfortunately, uh, this is not looking good at all. I'm going to retreat. I'm going to powder snow. He's going to stay asleep, so we at least get another turn. Hopefully trying to set ourselves up. 
Mud Slap is not an option. We do need a Pella Swine. He's going to wake up on our turn. That's not a big deal for us. We did get the Pillow Swine, but unfortunately, I can't evolve it because Powder Snow is the only way to keep my opponent at bay. Um, without the energy drops right now, Mammoth Swine's line is not coming in. He does stay asleep, though, so we could still come through with this. We must be annoying this man. Level Ball. We're going to see an Eevee. He's going to go into the Sylveon Eevee line, unless they're in his prizes. Uh, but most likely not. There's our Sylveon friend. Curly Ribbon, which is not something I want to see. Uh, he's going to wake up on our turn, which is fine. We can just put him back to sleep. But unfortunately, uh, he has 90 HP. With the 20, we're going to evolve. So if you 50, I don't think we'll kill it. We'll knock it out, I apologize. I shouldn't say kill, that's kind of rude. Um, we're going to go with the Gathering Footsteps. So it's only going to be 70. Oh, he's resisted. Ah, it would have been. It would have been enough, but unfortunately for us, it's not. He's going to drop an energy onto the Wobbuffet. Curse deeply. He's going to do 50 to us. And we're going to grab a VS Seeker. This time around, I'm getting the Sycamore. As much as I'm losing a Mammoth Swine, I don't need it at this moment. And I desperately need a hand of something that can get me cards. With that, though, I did not get that. So... I'm in a bit of a pickle. Trainer's Mail is going to get me another Karina. It's great because we can at least get another Pillow Swan, but I'm not getting energy drops. So, Gathering Footsteps. We're going to knock out this Banette. We're going to get our first prize of the game. But unfortunately, I think he can just come in with the Curly Ribbon Sylveon, or he comes in with the Wobbuffet. And... He's going to do a 10... Oh, no, he's just going to knock us out because of the his psychic assault. Muscle Band onto the Sylveon. This is a neat neat concept for a deck. Um, level Ball for a Pumpkaboo. He is most likely going to claim victory over us this game. There's the Professor's Letter to keep his energy run going. Unfortunately, we're not running those, so maybe those would be the two cards you'd want to run instead of the Octillery line. That, again, that's up to you guys. Um, we're going to see our Pillow Swine drop, and that most likely also takes our opportunities away for actually claiming this game. Um, we're going to see a Fighting Energy, which I am going to attach to Swin Up. Um, I'm in a very bad spot. I'm in a very bad spot. Uh, I'm gonna go for Karina. I think another Swinub is important. What kind of item card can I get? I don't think there's anything really that can save me at the moment. I don't think there's anything that can save me here. Like my my thought process isn't saying get get me a win here. My my thought process is right now is to concede because there's I can't damage enough. I'm just stalling out with these powder snows. And eventually is gonna land that heads and just gonna go for that knockout. We are gonna put Wobbuffet to sleep, so he can't attack this turn, which is thankfully a nice thing. Uh if we can get a, DD, a, a DCE, we might be able to start damaging Wobbuffet. But we're going to see a, most likely the Gorgeist on this one. We didn't see the ener uh, we didn't see another Sylveon drop. Okay, yes we do. Um, did he just Evisode it? 
after he put a fairy energy on. I must have missed something there. Uh, Tierno, drawing three more cards. We're going to see an unknown. Is he going to get rid of it? Yes, he is. Another card draw. He's going to stay asleep. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to bridge. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I really need to think out my move here. Do I have a birch? Yes, I do. Okay. Ideally, I need energy. Let, let's not be foolish here and go for Bridget. Let's let's get the cards that we actually need. I'm going to muscle band up the Swinub. I'm going to get my professor's letter. Or birches. I'm sorry. Muscle band Swinub. There's no use training mailing when I can go for a birch. There goes our hand. No. We do get the di we do get the uh, DCE drop, which I'm almost to the point where I want to put it on the bench mat bench Swinub. But you can only do ten damage to me at the moment. So wait, what is no I lie? I'm sorry. Um, he has a muscle band, so he's gonna do thirty to me. So we're gonna go for the. Trainer mail, we're gonna get an ultra ball. But I'm not playing that ultra ball. Um I'm gonna go for a powder uh No, I got him I got it. This is the end of another mammoth swine. We're gonna be out of a hand here. But we're in a bad position. If I can start knocking this Wabafet around a little bit, um we can at least get some damage off. So there we go. And he's staying asleep! Oh, Swinub, you're staying us. You're keeping us going here. Oh, that that was definitely necessary at the time. Not that it matters, because the Sylveon that has a DCE drop and the fairy energy can come in and one shot us, but at least at least we're not gonna be completely wiped. There he's got two Sylveons set up that can just hold on. Echoed voice does fifty. Uh-oh. Haluch is coming in. He's going to wake up. Um, I don't know why he did that. Because I can just simply retreat back into Philoswine. That that was a waste of a turn. And we are going to Gathering Footsteps and knock him out. And maybe this prize card will help us out. A Bridget? I don't think so. We're going to see a Sylveon come up. Now, Sylveon is going to hurt us pretty bad with that echoed voice. It is going to do a massive 50, unless he does decide to go for the curly ribbon, but I... I don't know why he'd want to. 50 damage, and then guaranteeing the knockout on the next turn, that can be pretty huge. I shouldn't have said I was going to lose this one so quick. Like, I, I, I can't win with this Pillow Swine, but if I get lucky, this one might actually still set up. He's going to Curly Ribbon. What's he going to do? DC drop onto the Halucha. That, that's... It's unfortunate. It's definitely unfortunate. Um, I'm going to bridge it. I need a Remoraid, and all I have left is a Remoraid and a Halucha. So, unfortunately now, he can just go for the echoed voice and start setting up to kill. It's a little, it's a little depressing there where I could have, I could have easily still stayed alive in this. My opponent's definitely utilizing the best of his abilities, keeping himself from going down, and making sure I don't get any more prizes than necessary. We're going to see the Echoed Voice do 50 to us. Now, mind you, if I can get a... There it is! This game isn't quite over. I'm going to have to waste the DCE on this Pillow Swine, but I'm going to evolve into Octillery and finally abuse my Abyssal Hand and get me five more cards. 
So we are still in this. I'm going to... I'm going to drop that on him. But do I want to evolve? Do I want to evolve into a Mammoth Swine? I think I do enough damage as it is. 20, that's 50, 70, 90. I don't need it. And it might be easier to get into Pillow Swine next and sack off one of the Haluchas. So we are going to, gathering footsteps, knock out the Sylveon. First of two threats. We're going to get strong energy. Uh, not that it matters. I need a DD. I need a DCE drop. Our opponent only has 12 more cards in hand. He's going to fan club. So there's two more cards out. If we can just stall out a little more, we might be able to just deck him, which isn't what we're supposed to do, but we might just get fortunate. He is going to knock out Pillow Swine this turn. Oh, God. Here's the Gallade. There's a Ghastly. He has a lot of different Pokemon in this deck. A lot of different Pokemon. So we're going to see the energy drop onto the Ghastly. And... I think my objective right now is to bring in Halucha. Wait and kind of go for the strong energy on it and bring out the Gallade, kind of force him into a bad position. I'm going to Lysander out the Gallade. Thankfully I'm not weak to him. I am going to grab that extra card, which is a Sycamore. And I'm going to hit it with a Flying press which is going to do 80 damage this is where haluchas can definitely come in clutch here that one energy drop strong energy for 80 is a lot of damage now what does haunter do again we're, we're both confused here which is a great play on my opponent because now I have to attack. He's going to... Oh. Never... It, that's a, definitely a great play. He's now Pokemon Centered Lady. I There's no way I can knock him out next turn. We're going to see more energy come into his hand. I don't need to see the energy. We're going to see... I'm sorry if my tongue is tied. I'm going to be saying sorry a lot, guys. Because this is just how my game is going today. We will be seeing the Swift Lunge on the next turn. Um... So I desperately want to, I'm going to want to start setting up Pillow Swine. I'm all right if this Halucha goes down. He still has to waste a turn on it. Um, I think the best bet is to go for a VS Seeker. Do I want to go Karina? Karina? We don't have any more Swinubs left, so our fourth one must be prized, or I missed out. Are there any more item cards that I can actually grab? There is a Muscle Band. So, there is really no option here other than to equip it. Oh, I've already got it equipped. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I'm going to set up the other Halucha. Maybe that energy drop was a bad idea. I'm going to set up the other Halucha. And I'm going to attempt to go for a flying press. We do get the head, so we do get that extra damage off. It's 100. Next turn, we will be able to take it out. If he doesn't Pokemon Center Lady it again. Again, we just need to stall out a couple more turns. The Halucha is going to go down, I believe, at this turn. We're going to see Gengar with that creep show. We saw so 
It destroys so easily in one of the theme decks in a previous episode. Um, is he going to hit us with that swift lunge? I'm kind of scared right now. Mind you, I can... Oh no, he is retreating. Is he echo voicing or is he curly ribboning? And if he does, that strong energy is going to go on Octillery. It's going to be an echoed voice, so 70 damage. Oh. Well, it helps if I paid attention to my HP costs. <laughs> oh, man. I can't bring out Halucha now. Um, Pillow Swine? You've got to come out here, bud. Um, I'm saying I'm way too many times. Trainer Mail. Birch? I want to aim for a strong energy. If I have one in hand, sorry, it'll be three, four, five, six, seven, and if I get the strong energy, I can knock out the Sylveon. And save this pillow swine another turn. That is my current hopes. I get the heads. Yes, I got two of them! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This game's not over yet. Pillow swine's gonna go for that gathering footsteps. We're gonna knock out this Sylveon. All we need to do is knock out that Gallade. And we have this game. We get that other Swinub! What is he gonna do? I think we just put him into a corner. Gorgeist is coming out. He's going to be able to Spirit Scream, put damage counters on both active Pokemon until their HP is remaining is 10. He does not want to do that, though. We're going to see a Center Lady on the Gallade. Oh, this game is really close. And I mean really close. 20, 40, 60. We're doing 20. We're getting 20 damage across the board. He's getting that Halucha kill. Can we get a VS Seeker to claim the game? No, we do not. We are going to play the Swinub. Do I evolve into Mamoswine? 20, 40, 60 on top of 80 is 140, which I'm not working this out very well. <laughs> um, the best idea would to see if I have a, I don't have a pillow swine in deck, I don't think. Um, I can Karina, this is what I'll do. I do have a Pillow Swine in back. And if I have a VS Seeker, which I do, next turn I'll be able to Lysander at the Gallade for the win. So I will hold off on playing any of these cards right now. Um, I will even save that energy. I'll play the standard one on the Swinub, just in case this one does, for whatever reason, get knocked out. Uh, we're going to go with the Gathering Footsteps. It's only going to do 80, so we're not going to knock it out, which is good. I didn't want to see the energy go into the Gengar, because that creep show would have just easily destroyed us. He's getting a Lucky Helmet, and I'm not going to be knocking that thing out. I have full intentions of going for Gallade right now, doing maximum damage. He's only going to be able to do another 20, or bring himself down to 10, which is only going to be another 10 damage to him anyway. Here it is, the Spirit Scream, bring us both down to 10. But he is, he has to be aware that I have a Lysander in the back. So, we're going to grab that Lysander. We're going to double check my math. I'm going to definitely get that energy up there. So that's 20, 40, 60, plus the 30 is 90. It's 111, 100, 
and twenty. Is it enough? You know what will be? No, I can't Wally. Cannot Wally. Let's Lysander it out. So it's at 40, so it's 130 HP. So that gives us, if I bring out Mamoswine right now and evolve, it's going to be 80 plus 20, 40, 60. It's 140, I believe. So it will be just enough to knock this guy out. We have the energy to do so. We're going to claim this last game's victory. Oh god, this was close. I honestly thought he had it in the bag, guys. But it apparently Mammoth Swans wanted that last win. And I want to thank you guys for watching. This was definitely a long video, but definitely a worthwhile game. Um... Yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Time out.